Mexico, Max Forte again to bring you another unboxing slash first impressions. Now it's from the house of, uh, let's just open the uh, package. I like to keep things uh, surprising rather than just letting you know exactly what this is. Let's just open the package and let's find out what we have. So basically, this is a house that I've never smelled anything from. It's from the house of Kerosene. Um, Kerosene is uh, a great um, reviewer. He was a very good reviewer at one point, put a lot of videos out. And then he stopped doing videos and he started his own fragrance um, journey. Uh, this is uh, very nice of him. Hi Max, I hope you enjoy the offerings. Warmly, Kerosene. This is very nice of him. By the way, uh, he, he did not offer anything to me. I actually contacted him, so this was very, very um, genuine of him to send me this this little package with samples so basically I have looks like 12 different samples so let me just pause this for a second so I can open these packages and I'll let you know exactly which samples I got and then we'll do a first impressions of them uh, I'll get some um, some cards as well to spray on I'll be right back stay tuned all right, guys. So from the house of kerosene, he was very nice. This is very nice gesture. He sent me 12 different uh, offerings from his fragrance house. And we're going to dive into them real quickly. I'm not going to do a notes or classification or anything like that. It's basically going to be a first impressions, just to let you know my thought and my take on these. Uh, the first one from the house is going to be this one right here. Let's see if I can get this on focus. This is called. Looks like it's not going to focus anyway. Um, Anyway, this is Suntalum Slivers. So Suntalum Slivers is the first one. Then we're going to give you a first impression on Unknown Pleasures, which is a very known fragrance, very known fragrance of his from his uh, offerings. Then we have Black Vines. Then we have uh, Unforsaken, which is another one that's very well known in the fragrance community. Then we have Copper Skies, which is another one that I've heard many great things about. Then we also have Fields of Rubus, which I also heard very good things about. Then we have Dirty Flowers uh, Factory. Uh, this one here is something that I've never heard about. And then we have uh, Creature. I also heard many things about this one. Very. Um, intrigued and uh, curious to smell it. We have Root Elements. Root Elements. Then we have uh, Pretty Machine. Heard a couple of things about this one. And then we have this one called Kindred. I've also heard some good things about this one. And last but not least, we have Wood Haven. So this is it guys, these are the 12 offerings that um, John Kerosene was very very kind and nice enough to send me. So we're going to do a first impression on these fragrances for you. Um, I never smell anything from the house, I'm very intrigued, very curious. And so here we go, let's do a first impression here on this Suntalum Slivers. So let's give it a nice spray. Okay, very nice. What I get out of this one here, this would probably be awesome for uh, spring and summer. I get a, um, like I said, I've never looked at the notes, never smelled them, but from just from this first spray here, I get a very beautiful citrus tangerine kind of smell with maybe some woods in the background. So yes, yeah, so Suntown Slivers, it's beautiful, it's got tangerine, definitely some citruses up there, I get some woods, maybe a couple florals, just beautiful, very unisex, if you like orange sanguine, uh, this is a beautiful citrus aromatic, guys. So this was Suntown, very nice. Next one we're going to try is Unknown Pleasures. Let's see what we get out of this one, guys. Unknown pleasures. By the way, from the first NIF, I give a 7 out of 10 
first some talons. Unbelievable fragrance. Okay. Oh my god. This is more up my alley, guys. Unknown Pleasures, unbelievable fragrance, guys. What a beautiful gourmand. This is delicious. Okay, so with Unknown Pleasures, I get... I don't know. There's a little citrus up top, but... Then, what comes to play is a beautiful... Honey, caramel, vanilla, tonka kind of smell, but it's so delicious, so delectable. This is definitely... 10 out of 10, guys. This is unbelievable. You know, Unknown Pleasures is a 10 out of 10. Unbelievable. Alright, the next one over is going to be another one here from the house, which is called Black Vines. Let's see what we get out of this one. Give it a couple blasts. Okay. Alright, Black Vines. What I'm getting here off the top of the, uh, the spray is something um, along the lines of licorice. It is very nice. Okay, so I definitely get licorice or star anise, some cinnamon vanilla, maybe incense, and maybe... There's something in it that's making this a little bit balmy. Beautiful fragrance, guys. Black Vines, I'm going to give definitely just off the top 8.5 out of 10. Beautiful fragrance as well. Next up is Unforsaken. Let's see what we get here out of Unforsaken, guys. Alright, so Unforsaken. This is beautiful too, guys. Oh my goodness. This is, this is beautiful. By the way, all of these so far are very unisex. Nothing here is, is really extremely um, rugged or manly so far, or really feminine that you know a guy can't pull up, pull it off. Everything here is 100% unisex and extremely well um, made. These are phenomenal fragrances. Wow, kind of smoky, very beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. Unforsaken is going to get 10 out of 10, guys. This is beautiful. Something nutty in there, maybe coconut, a little ginger or musk, some citrus. Unbelievable, guys. 10 out of 10 for Unforsaken. Next up, we have another offering from the House of Kerosene. First impressions is Copper Skies. Let's see what we get out of Copper Skies. Okay. Copper Sky is beautiful, guys. Again, from just from first impressions, um, I'm going to give this also a 9 out of 10. This is beautiful. It's got amber, some tobacco, maybe cloves. What a beautiful fragrance, guys. And again, I want to be perfectly clear to you guys that John did not approach me. I approached him. I wanted to smell... This one here is going to be Fields of Rubus. I wanted to smell his, his fragrances. I've never smelled anything from his house. And I have to say that I'm extremely impressed right now at first sniff. i got to get a little more time with these, but I'm going to get some of these for sure. Everyone, I have to say it again, I am floored. Uh, Fields of Rubus, it's another oriental. Beautiful, you got some kind of fruits in there, maybe, uh, I don't know, just kind of berries or plum. My goodness, if you like Bond number no. 9, uh, Andy Warhol or Plum Japanese, you're going to love this. Fields of Rubus is 10 out of 10. Guys, I'm floored, I'm really floored, I am extremely uh, at, at all here, you know, I think these fragrances are phenomenal. If you haven't checked them out, you have to get them. They're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. And I want to be perfectly honest with you guys that he did not approach me. I approached him. This is Dirty Flowers Factory. 
I was intrigued by the, by the brand. I, I started to hear some buzz, and I figured I had to try these. Okay, now this one here, Dirty Flowers, is definitely more in a feminine size from the things that I've smelled so far. Yes, yeah, so Dirty Flower Factory is definitely floral. This one has a very nice flower feel, though. I, I, I can smell maybe jasmine, rose, some, some pepper, and maybe some woods to give it uh, some backbone. But it's nice. But it, this one is, in, to my nose, definitely more to, to the feminine size. You know, I, I would not wear something this floral, but it's extremely well made, very nice. Um, for a floral fragrance, I give this an 8.5 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10. It's very well made. Next up we have Creature. I heard some, some things about Creature and I'm extremely uh, curious about how it's going to smell. Alright, so let's see what we get from Creature. Wow, very minty. Right off the bat, guys, uh, Creature is very minty and green. Very refreshing. I would love to wear this in the high heat of summer. Some citrus, beautiful freshness, very minty, very airy. Some woods, maybe some tea in there. This is gorgeous, guys. Very aromatic, very green, very minty. Oh my goodness. Creature is going to get a 10 out of 10. Beautiful fragrance. Next up we have, we're down to the last four guys. This, this has been great. I mean, I'm very, very excited and, and very happy that I've gotten these, these samples. This one here is um, Rude Elements. Also heard a lot of great things about this one. Very excited to, uh, to try this. Okay. This is beautiful. Okay, so Rude Elements. There's definitely... Something dirty in the background. My nose is still has that mint from Creature. Wow, that's very minty. Alright, so there, there's some dirt in here, probably from like Oud or something like that. I smell some, some flowers. Maybe iris or lavender. And there's definitely some sweetness from like an ambery vanilla. This is very nice. Root elements. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. What a beauty. Alright, last three guys. We're going to do a Pretty Machine now. Pretty Machine from the House of Kerosene. i got to tell you, that, that creature is one of the mintiest fragrances I've ever smelled in my, my whole life. Okay, now, this here is Pretty Machine. Another floral one, to my taste, more geared toward women, but very nice. So yeah, Pretty Machine is definitely more toward women. I get a lot of flowers in here, maybe jasmine, rose, some citrus and some musk. It is nice. This one I'd give a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, not my favorite from these offerings, but I'm telling you, these are all amazing. Um, one here, second to last, is Kindred. I heard a great deal on this fragrance. I'm very excited to try it. Let's see what we get on Kindred. Beautiful, guys. Wow. This would be fantastic for spring. Okay, so Kindred is very nice. I believe this, this is very peppery. I believe this was a 2014, last year's offering. I get a lot of woods. I don't know if there's pepper in here, but there's definitely something spicy, maybe ginger, cardamom. There is pepper. Okay. Uh, beautiful, guys. Whoa. Kindred is very nice. I'd love to wear this in spring and fall. You know what? I give this a 9 out of 10. Beautiful fragrance. So last but not least, we're going with Wood Haven. Let's see what we get out of this. My battery is just about to die. So, let me try to wrap this up as fast as I can. Whoa, this is smoky. Okay, so Woodhaven is very smoky. There's uh, something in there, I think peppers and ginger that's making this very smoky. 
this off the bat was not one of my favorites. Uh, I'll give this a seven, seven and a half out of ten. But all of these are fantastic, guys. Some of these are unbelievably good and definitely worth checking out. Definitely want to give a shout out to John Kerosene from sending these uh, 12 samples. This was extremely kind and generous of him. I just had contacted him via email and told him that I wanted to do a first impressions, that I've never smelt anything from the house, and I am floored. There's, there's at least six to eight fragrances here that I absolutely adore just from the first sniff. I'm going to experience a little bit with these little vials here, and if they agree with my body skin, uh, in chemistry, I can definitely assure you that you will be seeing some of these bottles in my collection uh, in the next months. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Shout out to John again for being so nice. And, guys, check out the House of Kerosene. There's some great offerings here, guys. I will talk to you all soon. Bye bye.